completed the lessons that is synthetic fibers, conservation of plants, and then so we have com uh, completed combustion and flame. Let us move again uh, to towards the biology portion that is called reproduction in animals. So reproduction in animals, the term reproduction. So giving birth to an young ones. For example, reproduction in animals. In your previous class, we have studied about reproduction in plants. What is reproduction? Uh, reproduction is the process where giving birth to an young ones of their own kind. So maybe it is egg laying, like oviparous, or maybe it give birth to an young ones of their own kind. That is called viviparous. So as you studied in your previous class, so the different life processes, for example, nutrition and taking food, utilizing it for different purpose or to get energy, etc. That is called nutrition. Next one, digestion. Whatever the food you are intaking, it will be digested in the digestive system. So that's why it is called digestive system. The next one, after that respiration, if I am breathing, so then it will intake whatever the food it is there in my body it will convert into glucose glucose will convert into carbon dioxide water and energy in mitochondria so this is called a respiration next one so circulation what is circulation so movement of liquid especially blood in our body so mean especially organ is mean for circulation that is nothing but pumping organ called heart the next one excretion removing the waste material from our body so that is called excretion so all these processes should be there in our body systematic in order so everything should be there in a systematic order these are called the life processes maintaining the job of all these is called as life process we know that so only this whether or more process is there in the life process yes it is that system is called the reproduction so nutrition, digestion, respiration, circulation, excretion. So all it is there in the plants also and in animals. So now one more process required to continue the species of their own kind. For example, in one of human beings is called the baby. A cattle. So the cow or maybe butterfly is called the larva or the nymph. Or maybe in one of frog is called the tadpole. So all these, it is an end one of each organism. So this reproduction is nothing but the continuation of our new species. So why it requires? For example, nutrition, digestion, respiration, circulation, excretion it should be there as a systematic order. So if the reproduction will not be there, so what will happen? Uh, whether the continuation of the new species will be there? No. So that's why reproduction should be there. So already you have learned about reproduction in plants. Now let us study about reproduction in animals. According to this year's syllabus, so sexual reproduction in human being is not involved because you will be studying in 10th standard age lesson. That's called how do organism reproduce. So that's why so it is skipped from your portion. So only we are studying the modes of reproduction in that only one type you are studying that is called asexual reproduction. Okay, now, so what is reproduction? Reproduction. Reproduction meaning, so giving birth to the end one, giving, it is the process where the giving birth to, giving birth to end ones, and ones from same species same species so this is called reproduction reproducing the end ones of their same kind as i said human being the end one of human being is called the baby a cattle a cow is calf a frog tadpole butterfly larva and a limb so etc. All these are the M ones of their own kind. That's why it is called same species. Okay now. So it should be required and it must be there to continue the species. To continue the species, the reproduction process is uh, must. Now the second one. So which are the two modes in reproduction? There are two modes. 
So the first one is called modes of reproduction. Modes of reproduction. Uh, reproduction. The two modes of reproduction. First one is called sexual. Sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction. The second one is called asexual. Asexual, single term, asexual reproduction. So the two modes in reproduction, list the two modes of reproduction. So in animals that is called sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. So as I said, this topic you are going to study. You will be going to study in 10th standard. So that's why it is skipped for this year. So only we are studying sexual reproduction. What is a sexual reproduction? This I will write the point. Sexual reproduction. So this is the definition. Sexual reproduction meaning fusion of fusion of male and female gamete. Male and female gamete are called sexual reproduction. Fusion of egg with the sperm. So you are going to study egg with the sperm. That is called the fusion. Fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization. Same like in plants. So fertilization then it will produce in plants especially. The fertilization you can get an embryo, ovule, seed etc. Fruit. So the outer covering. So same thing in human being are in animals, in higher animals not in primitive organism fusion of male and female gamete is called sexual reproduction next one so we are going to study asexual reproduction asexual reproduction so what is asexual reproduction giving birth to giving birth to egg ones egg ones from from single parent single parent so it is totally different fusion of male and female gamete is called sexual reproduction Asexual reproduction means giving birth to egg ones are giving birth to egg ones from a single parent, individual parent. We call it as individual parent, individual parent. So from a single parent, if it will to give birth to an egg one or maybe a new one, new offspring, then it is called asexual reproduction. So the two organisms we are studying in asexual reproduction. So the first one is called the hydra. So some organism like primitive organism. So we are studying that is called the hydra. Second one microscopic organism. Microscopic organism. Organism. That is amoeba. So two organisms we are going to study in asexual modes of reproduction. Hydra, primitive one and microscopic organism. How it will reproduce or how it will give birth to an egg one, some new offspring from a single mother cell, a single parent cell or individual parent cell. We are going to study now with a diagrammatic representation. So that is called asexual reproduction. Again I repeat. So reproduction is giving birth to an egg ones of a same species or continuation of the same kind of an organism. It is called reproduction. Modes of reproduction there are two sexual and asexual reproduction. So in sexual reproduction reproduction fusion of male and female gamete is called sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction giving birth to an uh, egg ones from a single parent from a single parent is called asexual. Two examples hydra and microscopic organism called amoeba. So we know that 
sexual reproduction is nothing but fusion of male and female gamete. Asexual reproduction is means giving birth to an egg once of their own kind as in from single parent. If they give birth to an egg once they are called viviparous. If they lay eggs they are called oviparous. The two. So in asexual reproduction. So here it's not egg laying. Here it is a mother's body itself. From the mother's body only. It is a from a single individual body. So it gives birth to an egg once. For example, if you observe a slide. So in number a biology lab we have many slides. So in that if you observe using microscope, microscope is necessary or maybe lens. So take a permanent slide. When you come to a regular class, we'll show all these and I'll show the slides in the uh, during the lesson. So take a slide of permanent permanent slide. Permanent slide means. So you are taking an organism. So after that you are preserving. So mounting the slide, mounting the organism on the slide. If it is dry, so that is called the permanent slide. So these permanent slide. So wick and lens. So hand lens if you are using. If you bring near to this. So bring near to this. This is an um, permanent slide of. Uh, Hydra. So, if you observe, then you can see some of the stages. What is that stages? Let us study one by one. So, let us study now asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction and reproduction in and primitive animal organism that is nothing but Hydra. So these hydra, how it will give birth to an egg once during asexual reproduction? Let us study. So hydra is an aquatic organism. So if you take an organism, observe carefully how to draw a hydra. This is the surface of the mother's body. These are called tentacles. This is hydra. So this is called mother body or a parent cell. This is a parent cell. Parent. It is called individual single. There is no fusion of male and female here. So a single parent cell. What will happen in the second stage? So this is the first stage individual. So we can write it as an individual. Indeed. Individual. So individual mother cell. So now after few days, a bud-like structure, a bulge portion. Observe carefully. A draw again with the tentacles. With the tentacles. Now observe carefully. This is a single mother cell or parent. So a bud like structure like rose bud or a flower bud, what we will say? A bud like structure appears on the surface of mother's body. So again I repeat. So a bud like structure appears here. Nothing is here I can observe. So here a bud like structure appears. It is nothing but bud. A bud like structure appears on the surface of mother's body, not everywhere. Surface of mother's body. What will happen in the third stage? So it grow in size. It grow in size. Also, this is a diagrammatic view of. So, if the bud like structure grow in size, it will develop. First, bud like structure 
appears, then it grows in size after maturation. So after maturation, observe carefully. After maturation, so butterfly structure grows in size after maturation. It looks like a mother body itself with all the formation of tentacles, etc. So now a single individual cell but appears, a but like structure, a bulge portion appears on the surface of mother's body, then it will grow in size. After maturation, totally it will mature, then it will detach, means it will detach, it will remove from the mother's body and this organism, the new young one will grow like mother's body only, totally mature organism that is called the hydra. Again, this is the structure. So here, asexual reproduction we are studying. What is asexual reproduction? Giving birth to an egg once or from a single parent cell is called asexual reproduction. So which example we have taken here? Hydra, primitive organism, present inside the water, a mother cell, individual, when mother cell start, it is ready to give birth to an egg once. A bud-like structure appears on the surface of mother's body, a parent body. Then it will grow in size. After that, it will grow like the with the tentacle, etc. And then it will detach from the body. So it will cut from the mother's body only, and uh, that is called detach. And this small uh, giving a small organism, a small a new offspring grow like the same like mother cell. So this process is called asexual reproduction in hydra. So this total process is called by one name that is called budding. So what is budding? Why is the new one gave name bud? But Asexual reproduction and budding. Three words you have to keep in your mind. The giving birth to an egg once of their uh, similar copy from an individual single parent cell is called asexual reproduction. Second one, bud like structure. Bud like structure. The bud like structure appears on the surface of the mother body. So that's why it is called bud. The next one, it grew in size. So all this it is including a bud like structure. That's why that process is called budding. Process is different, a bud is different, and asexual reproduction. So budding, where we can see, write the process. For example, a student can bring a little water. So and he is observing or she is observing under the microscope with using slide covers with etc. So he can observe the growth of the bud. Can you identify? So the student can recognize which organism it is and then which process it is. This is the question. So it is this question is nothing but like this only. A student is observing a slide under a microscope or maybe a permanent slide. So you can observe a bud like structure on the surface of the mother body. Identify the organism. Which organism? Organism is nothing but hydra and which process it belongs to body and which reproduction it comes under it is in asexual reproduction. Let us study one more. Asexual reproduction takes place in and microscopic an organism that is nothing but amoeba. Let us study asexual reproduction in microorganism that is nothing but amoeba. So already we have studied asexual reproduction in hydra. So next one we are going to study asexual reproduction in a microorganism, microscopic organism that is nothing but amoeba. A U M O E B A. A M O E B A. That is called amoeba. So it is a microorganism. So it undergoes two types of reproduction that is 
one is called binary and second one is called multiple fission. So first we have studied that is called budding in hydra. So whether budding will take place only in hydra? No, according to our syllabus we are going, we are studying. So in east side, so we have studied in the first lesson that is an east. A microorganism, friends and co. We also need to put yeast, how it will produce of carbon dioxide during respiration, etc. So, this yeast cell also will undergo that is called the budding. So, a single bud like structure will form on the mother body or the surface of the mother's body and then it will increase in size and it will detach from the mother's body. So, that takes place, it is called so budding in yeast. And hydra, but in your syllabus given only hydra, just go through hydra only. The next one, amoeba, here also, they have given only to learn binary fission, not multiple fission. So, we will study now, let us study a binary fission in amoeba. So, amoeba is a microscopic organism, just I will draw the diagram also, a shapeless organism, there is no definite shape. For an organism that is nothing but amoeba. So just I will draw. This is an amoeba cell with specific nucleus. With specific nucleus. Cell body etc. It undergoes different. So it will digest the food through a food vacuole that is nothing but a pseudopodia finger like structure. But it will not here. So asexual reproduction is nothing but giving birth to an egg once a new offspring from an individual parent. Now this is a parent cell, a parent. So this parent cell in favorable condition, what will happen? A single cell, so especially the nucleus present in amoeba, it will start to divide. It will start to divide. The second step. This is the first stage. During second stage, these amoeba, so the presence of the nuclei, so these nuclei will start to divide into nuclei, nucleus first. So this is nucleus. The next one it will start into formation of two nuclei nuclei so now a single mother will start or in a favorable condition it will stretch its body and there is a division of a nucleus into two nuclei now in the third stage keep in your mind the third stage during the third stage amoeba will form so, in amoeba cell, if you observe, a deep constriction will appear. A deep groove or constriction. So, with the nuclei, this is the third stage. First stage, individual parent. Second cell, the nucleus will start to divide in the formation of nuclei. Then there is a separation of two nuclei towards each part of an organism with a deep groove or constriction. Then the last stage, in the fourth stage, what will have happen? Absorbed. Okay. So these will detach and there is a formation of a separate amoeba cell. A separate amoeba cell, a new offspring two daughter cell with the two nuclei then this process is called binary fission binary fission what do you mean by fission and fusion there is a difference fusion means they come together so that is nothing but fusion fission means breaking so like this fission binary fission so i'll explain what is binary fission a single individual amoeba cell, amoeba, and favorable condition, it will start to stretch its body. So, if, if it is steady, or maybe if it is ready to give birth to an egg once, or maybe a new offspring. So, then the first stage 
is a single nucleus will start to divide into two nuclei, nuclei. So then they will move towards a different corner through a constriction. So the single mother's fat body it will start to stretch. A deep constriction will form. So then there is a, a division of the, these two organism. It is a single mother cell. Till now, this single mother cell will divide into two daughter cell. Two daughter cell. So that's why this is called binary fission. Bi means two. Binary fission. Breaking the single mother cell into two identical daughter cell. Daughter cell is called the binary fission in amoeba. So here also there is a question like application level. It's not application. Justify. For example, a student is observing a slide under microscope. He can or she can observe the division of a cell into two. That is a uh, shapeless organism. So in that case, you have to justify the answer. First, which reproduction? It is asexual reproduction. Second, which type it is? Which process it is? Binary. So this is in amoeba. So as I said, so in your topic according to your class, your age given. But when you go to a higher section, you will study still more organisms. For example, asexual more than 8 or 10 organisms you are going to study. Uh, sexual reproduction also there in our 10th standard. So all these are. So according to your age, according to your class given, only few. Don't think only it is present and only one type in asexual no it's not like that so that's why according to your age so stepwise you are studying that is for science is a systematic study so one step then again you are moving little higher and little higher so that is the one so but so in your text you given only binary fusion if it is multiple fusion what will happen so multiple fusion will take place in plasmodium a malarial parasite and in amoeba. So let us study now the multiple fission because we are studying anyhow amoeba. Let us study multiple fission in amoeba also. We have studied already binary fission in amoeba. So it is not included in your lesson that is multiple fission but I will teach you what is a multiple fission, how it takes place. For example, single amoeba cell. A single amoeba cell so imagine a single amoeba cell, so in unfavorable condition, so there is a formation of a spherical structure called the cyst. So now, here we will favorable cyst. This one, first stage, second stage in amoeba. So in previous slide, uh, lesson we have studied now, in previous topic, a single nucleus will divide into nuclei, two nuclei, here it is many. So formation of many nuclei. So, so this is called the cyst formation. Cyst formation also will take place. So single nucleus, here it is many or multiple. Then, so during favorable condition, so it will blast or it will burst open. There, there is a formation of each individual, many individual, you know, multiple or many young ones. So, new offspring, a single mother cell, a many nucleus will form nuclei, then it will divide, it will burst open during favorable condition, and again, there will be a formation of multiple cell, a multiple amoeba. Amoeba, A M O E B A, that is single A M O E B A E. So that is N1, other new offspring. So this process is called multiple fission. Multiple fission. Multiple fission. So it is not included in your textbook. This is first to just to observe, to identify. I taught you the topic that is called a binary fission and multiple. So again I repeat which are the topics we have studied now. So only this much is there. There is a cloning. 
uh, in a ship called Dolly, so that is also not included in your topic. And sexual reproduction is not included, so it is skipped because you are going to study in 10th standard. That is why only the two topics is there to study. That is one is an asexual reproduction and what is reproduction and modes of reproduction. Again I will revise. Reproduction is giving birth to an young ones of their same individual. Maybe they lay the eggs through that young ones or maybe they will give birth to an young ones. So to continue the species there is a process called reproduction. The second one, so we have studied the modes of reproduction. There are two modes of reproduction. The first one is uh, sexual mode of reproduction. Fusion of male and female gamete. As we have studied already in our previous class that is a plant also undergo uh, sexual mode of reproduction and asexual mode of reproduction. So now, so we are not going to study asexual reproduction in human being because we are going to study in 10th standard. Uh, asexual reproduction giving birth to an egg once or giving birth to an offspring from an individual parent cell or a parent. First example we have studied that is a sexual reproduction in hydra where formation of bud on the mother's surface it will grow in size or it will increase in size after maturation it will detach from the mother body it will form as an a new organism that is why that process is called budding in hydra same thing will take place in yeast also as a microorganism yeast also undergo a process called uh, budding the next one we have studied, so binary fission and multiple fission, asexual reproduction in amoeba. A single parent cell will start to divide, the nucleus will start to divide into nuclei, there is a formation of group and the separation of the cell into two identical daughter cells, it is called binary fission. Next one, multiple fission, a single mother cell, the formation of the cyst, then in a favorable condition, it will burst open into uh, N1, so multiple new offsprings. That's why this process is called asexual reproduction and also it is called multiple fission. Fission means breaking, multiple fission in amoeba. So by this, so we are coming at the end of the lesson, that is reproduction in animals. But we are not studying reproduction in higher animals. So that is in human being. Just we have studied only reproduction in primitive animals like hydra and microscopic uh, animal that is called amoeba.